So, after t seconds, the height h of t of a model rocket launched from the ground into the air is given by this function. Find how long it takes the rocket to reach a height of 96. So 96 is the height, right? Well, h of t is the height. So I'm going to replace h of t, which is the height, with 96. And this equals uh, the same function. So plus 80t. But again, I want all of everything on one side of the equal sign so that we have, a, a, in this case, a trinomial that equals 0. So I'll subtract 96 from both sides. And I get 0 equals negative 16t squared plus 80t minus 96. All right, so right here we're just looking to factor a trinomial just like we would any other. Um, looking at these, I would just guess that negative 16 or 16 is a common factor for all three of these or a common yeah, factor. So let's see if that will work. So, of course, if I factor out a negative 16, because I want that leading coefficient to be positive, then I get a t squared, and this will be minus now, 80, where's my calculator, 80 divided by 16, 5, minus 5t, minus 96 divided by 16 is 6. That worked out really well. Now, again, since that's just a number in front of the parentheses, we don't really have to worry about it in terms of what t is. But we should factor the 6 out, which it looks like is going to be negative 6 and 1. So, using the rule just for saving time, I've got t minus 6 and t plus 1. So all I need in order to solve this is for t to e t minus 6 to equal 0 or t plus 1 to equal 0 which tells me that t is 6 or t is negative 1 now this is a word problem so we have to remember the context it's asking for how long and t is in time in seconds it wouldn't make sense for us to have a negative value in seconds because that would be before the launch. The launch would happen at zero seconds. So that value goes away. It would have to be in t equals six seconds.